Perform the following transformation on the unit square. Sketch the sketch and state the area of the image. But this one should look familiar to you, right? What is A? Three. What is B? One. Remember, this is A, A, B, negative one. So it is just a reflection and dilation. The next question that we're going to do doesn't have just dilation and reflection. It changes the shape, but this one will be still a square. Okay? So for these, what do we do? You start from A, B, C, D, and in order to sketch it, you have to find each coordinate. So I'm going to start from A prime. So what you need to do is you multiply this with A, which is 0, 0. So you do 3, negative 1, 1, 3 times. 0, 0 for A, and if you z multiply by 0, 0, it becomes 0 plus 0, and 0 plus 0 again, right? You sum with you this when you multiply, so this becomes 0, 0 again, so that's my A prime. Now B prime, again, you multiply the transfer matrix, and what is B? X is 1, Y is 0, so you multiply by 1 and 0. And when you multiply the matrices, make sure your orders are matching. So you cannot put 0, 0 first. You see what I mean? This is 2 by 2, and this is 2 by 1. That's how you can multiply. Remember, these two needs to match. But if you put this first, it's 2 by 1 times 2 by 2, which you cannot multiply. So make sure you put your A, B, C, D after the 2 by 2 transfer matrix. So here, when you multiply by 1, 0, 3, negative 1, and add it, 1 times 3 is 3. 0 times negative 1 is 0. So that's 3. Here, again, it just becomes 1, right? 1 times 1 plus 0 times 3 is 1. So that's... 3 comma 1, your B prime. What about C? C is 3, negative 1, 1, 3. C is 1, 1. Right? C is 1 comma 1. So when you multiply, you get 1 times 3 is 3 plus... 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. Now with the second row, 1 plus 3 because it's 1, 1. 1 plus 3, so I get 2, 4. 2, 4. So it will be square look like this, right? Last one, D prime. 3, negative 1, 1, 3. You multiply it with... D, which is 0, comma 1. So then now it's 0 and 1, so you, these become 0. So you just get the Y values, right? Negative 1 and 3. 0 times 3 is 0, plus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. 0 times 1 is 0, 1 times 3 is 3. So that's negative 1, 3. So this is similar to what we did. Right? So they just ask you to sketch it. Don't forget to label them with primes for images. And now, what was the second question? They want you to find the area. It's still square. It's just rotated and dilated. So if I know how much this length is, right? Using the scale factor from 1, you can just square that because it's a square. So what is this length right here? This is 3, and this is 1. So this will be r equals the square root of 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is square root of 10. That means it got multiplied by square root of 10, which is 1 from 1. 1 times square root of 10 is square root of 10. This is square root of 10, square root of 10, and square root of 10 because it's a square. So what's the area? Yes, square root of 10 times square root of 10 is 10. Okay, what if the shape was not a square? They're going to still ask you to find the area. 
Do you notice anything from this transfer matrix to get pin? It is one of the terms that we learn from the matrix. But you will see on the next question, they're not going to always have the A's and B's given. It is the determinant. Do you see it? What's the determinant of this? Determinant equals to what? 3 times 3 minus negative 1, which is 10. So would it be true for all? Yes. So on the next page or on top of your page says what? Today's summary is that the area of the image of the unit square under the linear transformation re represented by 2 by 2 matrix is called a determinant. Area is the determinant. What if you get a negative determinant? Then just take the absolute value of determinant to get the area because area cannot be negative. Okay? So this one. Guys, do you see, this is different than what we've been doing now. Do you have A's? No. Do we have B's? No. So then, it won't be just rotation and scale factor, dilation. This will look different. So we have to just find the points, plot it, and find the area. Area will be still the determinant of this. So can we just go ahead and find the area first then? What's the area? So determinant which is negative 4, yes, minus negative 6, which is 2. 2 units square area. If it, without knowing the shape, we know it's going to be the determinant, the area. So it's 2. Okay. So now, let's start from A prime. So you multiply this 2, negative 1, 2, Negative 3, 4, 2, 0, 0, which becomes 0, 0. So here is A prime, B prime, negative 1, negative 3, 2, 4. What's B? It's this point, x is 1, y is 0, 1, 0. So this one you get just the x's, right? When you multiply 1 and 0, this becomes 0, this becomes 1, times that, so negative 1 and 2. So negative 1 and 2, B prime, C prime, this is number 3, B, okay? Negative 1, negative 3, 2, 4, you multiply with 1, 1, so this one you get, Negative 1 plus negative 3, right, when you multiply by 1 and 1. So negative 4. 2 plus 4, which is 6. So negative 4, 6. C prime. What about D prime? It is negative 1, negative 3, 2, 4. Multiply with 0, 1. D is x is 0, y is 1. So you get x is become 0, y is what the product becomes. So negative 3, negative 3, 4. So what does it look like? Stretched, what, parallelogram? Right? Yeah. So they ask you to sketch the image, which we did with the primes, label it, and we have to find the area. It looks pretty small, so two makes sense. 